Repentance is a change of mind, turning away from evil ways or belief, and turn to God and His way. Now, ito po yung ginagamit lagi ng mga uh, marami sa mga pastor na katulad ko na verse of repentance in 2 Chronicles 7, verse 14. If my people who are called by my name, of course, that is the people of God, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. Okay. Ang repentance po dito na tinutukoy ng ating Panginoon is uh, number one is you have to humble yourselves. Being humble before the Lord is to admit that nothing you can do to change yourself. Nothing you can do to save yourself. Nothing you can do to prosper yourself. Nothing you can do to make yourself prosperous. To humble yourself before the Lord is you are dependent to what God can do for you. Yung magagawa ng Diyos sa'yo. Ngayon, kung ang sa tingin mo ay kaya mong iligtas ang sarili mo, kaya mong pasaganain ang sarili mo, kaya mong bigyan ng uh, kaligtasan ng sarili mo o bigyan ng uh, kasaganaan ng buhay mo, in your own effort, in your own way, then that's not humility. Meaning, you're not dependent on God, you're dependent to yourself. So, humility or humbling down ourselves before God is we are dependent on God. Sabihin nga natin, I am dependent on God. Okay? Dependent ka kay God. So, if you who called on the name of the Lord will humble yourselves, meaning you cannot make yourself righteous, you need the righteousness of all of Jesus Christ. You cannot, you cannot wash your sin away. You need the washing of the blood of Jesus Christ. You need Jesus in yourself. That, that is humility. Kaya po, ang mga tao na nakadependent sa kanilang ginagawa like uh, they are worthy to be blessed because they pray so long, very long prayer. They do overnight, every night. Walang tulog. <laughs> then, uh, yun yung kanilang inaakala na magkukwalify sa kanila para sila'y uh, karapat dapat sa mga biyay at pagpapala. Then, they have something to boost before the Lord and they are not humbling themselves before the Lord. So humbling their, yourself before God is you know, to acknowledge that nothing you can do without God in your life. That is humility. Amen? Believing that the reason why you are qualified is because God qualifies you. None of you, all of Him. That is humility. And then, pray and seek my face. Meaning, this prayer and seeking the face of God is intimacy. Sabi nga natin, intimacy. What does it mean? We're gonna seek face the face of God. You know, pag nakita mo po ang mukha ng Diyos, ang mukha ng Diyos ay puno ng pag-ibig sa iyo. So dapat makita mo that in the face of God, He is so much in love with you. Saan nyo nakikita na yung itang tao ay in love sa iyo? Sa batok ba niya? Sa batok niya? Nakita mo yung batok niya eh. Ano? You feel like he or she's in love with you? Ano? O di kaya, doon ba sa paa niya? Doon ba yung na nakita mo yung paa niya eh? Nakita mo in love, in love siya sa'yo? No. You can know a person that he is in love with you by beholding his or her face. Makikita mo sa mukha. Tama? So bakit gusto ni Lord that we are going to seek His face? Because in the face of God, we can see how much He loves you. Amen. Hello? Praise God. At dito, kapag nakita ng tao, yung mukha ng Panginoon, nagkaroon sila ng intimacy in prayer. Okay? Then, people now 
will turn from their wicked ways. Meaning, they're not long, they're no longer dependent on their way. Sa kanilang effort. Sa kanilang religious uh, activity. They're no longer uh, dependent on their own way. So, people will turn from their wicked ways. Alam nyo ba, lahat ng ginagawa ng tao na kaparaanan para makalapit sa Diyos. Gaano man ito kaganda sa harapan ng tao, these are wicked. Bakit? Because your righteous acts is like a dirty rugs in the sight of God. Kaya lahat ng bagay na ipagmamalaki ng tao sa harap ng Diyos, yan po ay wicked ways. It's not a righteous way. The only righteous way is the way of God. Yun lamang po ang tanging matuwid katanggap-tanggap sa mata ng Diyos na kaparaanan. Yung paraan ng Panginoon, hindi yung paraan ng tao, hindi yung paraan ng relihiyon. Kaya turning from your wicked ways is you have to turn away from your religious ways. That seems like yun ang tamang daan papunta sa uh, Panginoon. Now, there's only one way. And who's the way? His name is Jesus. Why? Because Jesus says, I am the way. Glory. Hallelujah.